My last video was a tiling manager extension for GNOME Shell, so that's a very nice continuation, plus it is fresh. It arrived just two days ago. And as always, these Windows videos are really for GNOME users, to get an idea what the competition does. Some basics before. Power Toys is by Microsoft and it is open source, but it doesn't come pre-installed in Windows. At least for now we need to use an installer from GitHub releases page. It includes two functionalities, but more are going to come. The first is a shortcut overlay viewer, and the second is a tiling manager that Microsoft calls Fancy Zones. And I will start from the boring stuff, the shortcuts overlay. So, we hold down Super, and we get a full screen window with Windows shortcuts as expected. Nothing really fancy here, apart that placeholder that is so great idea. Let me show you how it works. First we need to open a window. And now we can see the shortcuts for this specific window. Okay, that isn't so useful really, but it is the design that makes it looking cool. Next is the tiling manager, and I won't go extensive here because it was released just two days ago, and I assume it will get massive development, so things will be very different very soon. However, even on the initial release is already better than any tiling manager in Linux. And if you don't believe me, check it out. It doesn't work super and it has bugs, but I will try my best to avoid them, as I do with my GNOME videos. And since this is Windows, everything starts from system tray. I won't go through fancy zones options, you can pause the video and read them if you want, I will only set the color to pink. So, we have 5 templates to select from, and we can also set the number of cells, but for now I will go with just 4. And we can also set the space between the cells, and anyway, all those is pretty much standard functionality in every tiling manager. Now if we open a window we can drag it normally, like we don't use any tiling. But if we press shift key, then the cells get highlighted and we can drop the windows inside. I know! Now you've been thinking why the hell I said that's better than any tiling manager in Linux. Wait! We didn't even start yet! Something really cool is that the tiling is per workspace. So if I open a new workspace, and then a window inside it, and move it with shift, there won't be any tiling template, meaning we can set different templates on each virtual desktop. But I know, still nothing impressive yet. Just wait! To make things easier, we can also rename the virtual desktops. The main idea is this. We can create special workspaces for specific tasks, that work with apps that are registered for restart. That means if we shut down our laptop maybe because we ran out of battery, then the next time we open it, our apps will resume their last state on the specific workspace they were. And there is some work on Windows 10 Insider builds on that area, but I don't want to go on that right now. And only because GNOME 334 is releasing this Wednesday, I won't blame the stupid dynamic workspaces that can't create fast workflows. Anyway, let me close these windows because we aren't done here. Actually we haven't even started. So, next task is to create custom tiling templates, and I really doubt if there is any tiling manager in Linux that can do that, not even remotely as good as you will see in a second. I admit that Power Toys interface is completely pathetic, but the mechanics for creating custom templates is really a dream. We can just move the borders, and add more points for creating new positions. And we can save our templates too. Not in a text file, but in an actual UI that even has previews.